This video is by Straight Goods News. SG News. Today my heart swells with pride to see you here. After a very long and difficult journey from the northernmost part of the traditional Cree territory, you have worked hard, you have endured, and you have succeeded in what you set out to do. You have achieved your goal, the Cree way, the Aboriginal way, with determination, with focus, and holding dear the very close values of our culture, which are the values of sharing, caring, and respect. Your journey has shown us strength and have shown that the Aboriginal youth of this country can use their energies in a positive ways, for positive goals, and in the very inspiring ways. You have inspired not only Aboriginal peoples, but you have inspired so many Canadians from coast to coast to coast. You began your walk as an expression of sympathy to bring to the attention of the Canadians the unacceptable living conditions in far too many of our First Nation communities across this country. And you began your walk to revive the historic unity of the Aboriginal peoples in our region of Quebec. These are very important and praiseworthy objectives. With your walk, you have also done something else. You have sent a message. You have sent out a loud and clear call for unity among all Aboriginal peoples. Precisely at a time when we need that unity, perhaps more than we have ever needed it. You have learned well the lessons of your fathers and your mothers. You have reminded us of the importance of our core values at a time when we need to dig deeply to ensure we are well grounded to face the challenges of the future that lies ahead. You have reminded us also of the importance of protecting our lands and, of, and protecting our environment. It will be through, it will be only through our direct involvement in what happens on our traditional Tory territories that we can ensure that what happens there takes into account the preciousness of the land, the waters and the wildlife, and takes into account the future generations who also will need the land and its resources to sustain them. We need to have the rights of Aboriginal peoples across the country recognized. And those rights need to be translated into tangible benefits for our peoples. We are reclaiming our lands in northern Quebec and we need to send out the message that this can be done across the country. My Cree youth, you, you all deserve a well-earned rest. You have worked hard for it. I hope this walk is just a beginning for you. You have, through your journey, experienced the rewards of hard work to achieve a difficult goal. Please continue to use your energies in a positive way and to achieve honorable visions for your people and for Aboriginal peoples across the country and around the world. If you can accomplish what you have just done, you have it in you to do, to do just that. Continue to bring the attention of Canadians not only that the current intolerable realities in, in so many First Nations communities must come to an end, but also that there are solutions. Our First, our First Nations know what those solutions can look like. We have examples of such solutions in Inuit in Northern Quebec, and other places in Canada. Canadians must know that we can together put into places those practical 
and achievable solutions which can help for the benefit of everyone. And more importantly, we can, together, ensure the kind of social harmony which brings pride to us all. There's, there is a choice to be made in this country. We can now continue to follow a path of exclusion which will only lead to further conflict and social turmoil. Or we can, on the other hand, embark on a path of inclusion in which Aboriginal rights and Aboriginal cultures are embraced as a unique part of the fabric of this country. And it is through that genuine inclusion that we can find the means by which we can, together, inhabit this land in peace and friendship and prosperity. It is in all these ways, my young friends, that you have inspired us.